Well, hi, English 12. Uh, I'm David, and I was doing my capstone project on the drug wars. And today my, I'll be talking about my creative piece and how the drug wars over in Mexico have affected me here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So I actually got interested in, in this topic of the drug wars from me going to Mexico over spring break and just realizing how different the culture is there compared to us in the United States. And then in class, actually, I saw a TED Talk about this and I thought, hmm, there's some similarities, similarities in that video that I noticed in Mexico while I was there. So it really inspired me to do this topic. And so while I was in Mexico, uh, I ended up walking to a pharmacy because I had a stomach flu. And I noticed that they had some of the same medicine that they have here in the United States, but it was a lot cheaper I noticed there. So for example here, we have just some plain old Sudafed, which helps with uh, congestion and whatnot. If you have kind of a cold or your allergies are acting up, this is when I like to take these just to help with my congestion with my nose and everything. And I, in Mexico actually, I went to look for some of these because I ended up getting a little bit of a stomach flu and some of my stuff was acting up. And I ended up getting, uh, I can't remember what the total price, I think it was $5, but I got three little rolls of these in Mexico for $5. Let's just, I, I was somewhere around that, and from the pay to dollar tr transfer. But in the U.S., I certainly know that this is not a lot more than $5. This is about $12 for three things, and you need to get these subscribed. You can only buy so many per month. As in Mexico, you can just walk up to a random store, because a lot of them have them, and just buy as many as you want. Uh, I think some of that is due just because of how in Mexico they have a lot of different laws there and they have a lot more to worry about than Sudafed rather than a lot harder drugs that they're just trying to keep off the streets. So I think that's basically why they allow so much Sudafed to go around and be e easily to be bought there. Another drug that I do not have but while I was in Mexico at the pharmacy I noticed that they were selling Xanax there which in, Me in the United States you have to be prescribed Xanax for anxiety but a lot of people take Xanax for other ways, such as just like getting the high off of it. And they just sell Xanax at that pharmacy too. So I guess it's really easy for them to get Xanax and uh, the government must not regulate it like they do here. I'm sure they have problems with Xanax, but like they said, they have a lot bigger things to be worried about. And that's how the drug wars have affected Mexico is that they just... Their laws are a lot looser there because uh, it's hard to regulate all that stuff coming in. And the pharmacies aren't really official pharmacies because it's just like uh, some random girl at the counter that I feel like has no ex educational experience at all. She just signed up to work like at a gas station and, sell, sell, and sell drugs also. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on this drug war situation. Now, why don't we go to interviewing some people that I did recently. I'm here with Adam Webb, and uh, Adam, when I say the Mexican drug wars, what's the first thing you think of? Um, well, I have to say, like, the the gangs and the killing that goes on in Mexico, all the, yeah. Do you feel very, you're very knowledgeable about this topic? Well, I mean, I watch, like, the news and stuff, so I'd say I know the bare minimum, but... Knows. Do you feel like this topic is interesting to you and other people? Well, I mean, it's pretty interesting, I'd have to say. It's... Do you think this affects you, the Mexican drug wars? Not really directly, but indirectly, I'd say that it affects me. How do you feel that you're affected indirectly? Well, I mean, because of the drug wars that go on in Mexico, I... I don't really, I wouldn't really feel safe just going, walking on the street there, you know. Kind of stereotypical. Yeah. If you were a Mexican citizen, how would you feel living in Mexico right now? Well, it depends on where I was living. But, I mean, I wouldn't really be proud of it, of what's going on in my country. But I would definitely, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be, wouldn't be a good place to live. Right. Thanks for taking your time. No problem. 
When I say the Mexican drug wars, what do you think of? Um, I think of the illegal trade of drugs between the United States and Mexico. Do you think you're affected by these drug wars? Um, not personally.